Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from TM Blast. I did a free local SEO audit back on February 2nd for a company called 1000 Acres Ranch Resort. Uh, one of their target terms was horseback riding and they wanted to rank better in the Google Map Pack. So when I did this audit for them, um, you can see the metric that I care most about is SOLV, so 2.04. That means out of the 49 data points, only one of those basically is in the top three. So if you're not in the top three, you're not on page one for this term, which is basically how most of local businesses get their calls. In this video, I wanna go over my favorite report, which is the competitor report within Local Falcon. So when you click on this report, it's actually gonna now show you who is ranking at the top for this. So I'm gonna move my screen over so I can explain this a little bit. Now, I'm not gonna go over the entire, I'm not gonna go over the audit that I did for them, but I wanna go over the competitor review tab because when I do local audits, um, I do spend quite a bit of time looking at who are the competitors in the area because that's how I kind of base my recommendations on who's ranking and then how somebody who reaches out to me, what they can do maybe to rank better. So you got Wolf Pond Stables. You can see 34% of the time they're in the top three. And then if you go down a little bit, so I'll move, you have Circle B Branch, 32%. What's great about this report is that as you click through all these here, the map's gonna change. You can see how it went from, so I'll go back up to the you know top lot of green, and then if you go down to Rocky M Ranch. Now you can see essentially the bottom left of this map is a lot of red, uh, right over here. So um, this is, and then again, so the audit that I did, they were at 2% at the time. So if I find them down here at the bottom here, they are. 1,000 acres, you can see basically only in their address are they in the top three. This is actually quite common. People who reach out to me, this is generally the view that I see for a lot of businesses that maybe have a Google My Business account, but um, really don't rank well outside of just their physical address. So lots of opportunity here. So I kind of want to explain what I like about some of these top competitors, and then maybe this can you know, give you guys some ideas of what you can do for your business. So let's click on view on Google. So we got Wolf Pond. Let's look at Circle B Branch. I'm just clicking just a few random ones and let's look at Rockin' M Ranch as well. So we got three maps that we're looking at. So we got, so a uh, couple things when, uh, so a couple things that I can see already. So horseback riding service, that's their primary category. That's critical. So with Google My Business, um, your primary category is actually like the most important thing that you do. So for them, they do horseback riding service. So when you're clicking through your edit services, you really wanna make sure that your, your primary category is actually like your featured a service that you provide. So for them, horseback riding, that's there, that makes sense. Let's look at another one, Circle B Branch. Again, horseback riding, much better listing. You can see the photos right over here. You have the reviews, 215. You have actually some booking options. This is some great stuff over here. So look at now Rocking M Ranch. So again, horseback riding service, two reviews, photo, all that. So let's go a little bit further. So I'm gonna take Circle B Branch. And what I like to do is, so I'm gonna to go to Google. I'm gonna do, let's go over here. Let's go to Circle B Branch. So you can see here when I Google the name Circle B Branch, I have their reviews over here, their photos, their Google map. Um, you have their hours, horseback riding service. Again, that's the primary category. Uh, I love this thing, this booking options. This is an option you can do within Google My Business. So you can, if you have the ability to have people book a service directly, you can just go right through that on your Google um, knowledge panel. This is such a great feature. Um, and I call this out actually in the audit. Um, you got some reviews over here and you got the people also search. Now these are just competing companies. So you can see I already saw Roaring Brook that's there. Um, so I want to kind of explain this listing and I'm going to bring over my listing as well, just to kind of compare it side by side. Cause when I do these local free audits, they all kind of, um, uh, repeat. So let's do a few things over here. So I'm going to bring this over. So this is my listing over here. Let's do this. So we have it side by side. So we have. Uh, I'm gonna move my screen over so we can look at this together. So TM Blast, Photos, Map, uh, and then View Outside, same thing. Mine is Internet Marketing Service, that's my primary category. They have one horseback riding service, that makes sense. I would do the first thing is I go to Reviews. So you can see their newest review came in 21 hours ago, so that's perfect. Um, I already can see here as I scroll through that the 
owner only likes the uh, reviews, they don't respond. Um, that's such a critical part of local SEO. If you're the owner, you want to go in and respond to the reviews. It's actually a great way to add some keyword rich information into the uh, review as well. So if you simply say someone like, for example, if you said, um, uh, they said, you know, uh, sleigh rides for adults or something like that, you know, you can basically just, you know, respond to that and say, I'm glad that, you know, like the sleigh rides were uh, great for your uh, for your family or anything else like that. Just simply, it's just another data point that can be then used by Google to have more semantic understanding that you provide the service. So reviews, that's one thing. Uh, two, uh, let's go back to my listing as well. Just we're looking at the, it's a, a buy side by side. So I don't have the booking feature here, but I like it how they do. But one thing that I can already tell that they don't have is the product category over here. So products are simply just a feature that you can kind of showcase what you uh, offer. So for me, you know, I do SEO, but I also do local SEO and then do audits, and then do free local SEO audits, and then do hourly consulting, all that. So I can kind of showcase this as individual products. So when I did the audit for a different company, I looked at them, then I also looked at the competitors and said, while your competitors have like a 30% share of local voice, um, give or take, they have an opportunity to, uh, to do even better. And one, th one of the features I called out was just products. So products, again, you can say something like this. So for me, if you click on free local SEO audit, there's no cost. And I just simply say, this is what it is. And if you visit the site, now you go to my free local SEO uh, audit page. That's kind of what you can do for horseback riding and everything else that you provide. So products, they're missing it. Um, I called that out that that can be added for the company who reached out to me. Let's look at a few more things. So you have uh, questions and answers, you have two. Um, another thing that they don't have here is they don't have an updated section. So updates here are things that you wanna call out about your business. So I do this about um, every two weeks. Oh, sorry, twice every week. What I typically like to do is share something that is either going well for a client or something that I'm working on. So for example, for this one day ago, I wrote this update and I just said, basically the share of local voice for a client I have in New York City is growing. I kind of talked a little bit about that. And then I have a learn more, which goes to my local SEO page. Basically, if anyone was interested in that. Um, for horseback riding, I would, I, I, I call this out in the audit. I would do the same thing. So I would say things around, especially when it's like the busy season, talk about, you know, share some photos, share some um, information about like the best time to book. Uh, these type of sessions, maybe you can have something on your website about maybe like a, like a Q&A type of uh, area. So you can say stuff like um, how old you need to be to do this or um, how much experience you need to have with uh, horses prior to booking a session. Um, anything you really want to do. What I called out in the audit was, that, again, you want to make sure that you're hosting updates that are specific to your industry. One mistake I see local companies do they'll say stuff like happy fourth of july on fourth of july or they'll be like happy thanksgiving and that's not really an update that's just you kind of posting something um and it's pretty generic you think about all the companies you see that all say the same thing happy fourth of july happy thanksgiving happy halloween it like doesn't really matter what matters more is kind of like what the business has to say so if it's like if it's if it's a halloween type of like offering you should call that out but simply just saying like happy halloween isn't really going to make much of a difference so even with the uh, with the updates, if you can get more keyword rich specific, that's a great way to uh, to boost the, uh, the the ranking potential. And let's just go to their website real quick. Um, actually, I'm going to go back just because I really like the way that Google has this. So you see, slave rides, horseback riding, carriage rides, um, those will all be products. So when I kind of mentioned for a TM blast, I have a carousel of products. That's what they would do as well. They would have slave rides, horseback riding, carriage rides, etc. So let's look at their website. So you can see here, sleigh rides. Mind it, it's very hard to read this, but whatever, horseback riding. Well, I don't know what this is. What is this? Okay, well, that's kind of weird. You actually, well, you can see this is not the best user experience, but it's fine, we'll just close that out. Horseback riding, carriage rides, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's pretty generic. Um, it's, it's fine for kind of what they do. I mean, these are like the primary things that they offer. We go to the horseback riding page, just we're all looking at this together. This is their page and not a whole lot of content. So in the audit that I did for the other company, I basically called out a few things. Um, the in, and by the way, this was a company that's in New York. 
Uh, it's like two hours away from me. Um, so they're in an area that's like between New York City and Albany. If anyone's familiar with it, it those are actually two pretty, well, especially in New York City, but also where you're where you're between Albany and New York City, it's actually quite an opportunity to rank. So we did a 20 mile radius, but I, I saw though that the competitors were just not ranking as well, or if they were ranking, they were just kind of ranking by default, but they weren't really doing that much. So like from this example, this is a company that has like a 30% share of local voice but the content on their page there's not much they don't have the product carousel they don't have the updates they are not responding to reviews so kind of all in all when i did this audit um i felt like there was a great opportunity for this company to rank better uh simply kind of following the, the things that i kind of mentioned actually one thing i want to do too while we're looking at all this is i like to also put this into bing as well so in the audits that i do um i always like to put everything into bing.com just so we're all looking at um, it together so circle B ranch let's hit enter and you can see what I really like about Bing is that they have a partnership with TripAdvisor and also Facebook for their reviews so their Google reviews for Google my business don't carry over into Bing so one of the things I also called out in the audit was um, effectively you want to expand how you get reviews you can ha you can say things like google my business reviews that's important but also encourage TripAdvisor, encourage facebook um i don't know if yelp is still a partner with bing or not but the point though is that these reviews here are all from uh TripAdvisor. it's actually kind of cool you can click on all this you can get exactly what you're looking for hiking wildlife you know all that stuff um anyway you have the knowledge panel um at the very top so you have their map listings you have the photos you have their website directions all that and then as you scroll down again this is now i mean there's so much with it i mean bing really pulls in a lot of information uh which is great too so again with the audits that i do i primarily focus on google it's like 90 percent of it then i also look at bing um, in this video, I'm not going to share also what I did for Apple, but I do look at Apple just to make sure there's a listing for that. Local Falcon can pull reports for how competitive you rank within Apple, but from my experience, most of my clients, they don't get much from Apple, uh, at least for right now. Maybe they'll change in 2024, but really it's Google 90%, Bing 10%. So anyway, kind of in summary, just one more time. Uh, when you are doing your local SEO strategy, you can use a tool like Local Falcon, you can put in the target keyword. And then you can play around with the competitor map uh, over here. And you can actually look at each of the listings to get an idea of kind of why are they ranking so much better than you. And you can look and see like what they have and what they don't have. And for my for my audit that I did, most of them were not using things like products, updates, they didn't have a good enough description, they weren't responding to reviews, their landing pages on their website didn't have a lot of content for it. So just big opportunities right there. So anyway, hope this video was helpful. Maybe it sparked some ideas for what you can do for your business. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions in the comment section, and as always, have a good rest of your day.